In this video, I want to explain the new Amazon placement fees and give you the best advice and tips to get the most cost efficient option for your shipping plan. Now, of course, you can go into your inbound settings and edit them uh, if you can. I've heard of some people being able to turn it off, but for the most part, you can click Amazon Optimize Shipment Splits. And how you get here is by going into Settings and then down to Fulfillment by Amazon. And then you can scroll down where you see uh, Inbound Settings, click Edit. And uh, typically, that's where you can either select one of these options. But for the most part, you can't necessarily just turn it off and not have to deal with it. It's their new standard, ultimately. So after that, you want to figure out, okay, well, out of these three options which one is best for me um and here's the thing it really depends and the price of these three options will depend first and foremost on how many units you send into amazon meaning if you only send a small amount of units they will not present you with all with all the options they'll only present you with the uh, minimal shipment splits but so that's dependent also the weight of your product should be something that you consider and i'll explain why and then if you're going to be shipping it from overseas or locally okay so i've actually created a shipping plan and i'm going to show you the difference between each of these tiers cost wise and what the best option for that one will be because that's how you want to get the best cost is to uh obviously figure out and calculate which option will be the cheapest there's two ways that you can do this First is you can open up a revenue, your the Amazon revenue calculator and copy and paste an ASIN, your ASIN in here this is an example. And then this is where you can filter in between the different options. So number of locations, if it's gonna be central, east, wherever, um, you can put in your shipping cost. Anyways, this is a great option. I personally like to just look at my shipping plan and kind of see it in a bigger point of view if you will let's so let's say i'm sending in one box of this product if you could see it right here so one box is going to be 125 units it only presents me with the minimal shipment this one for the most part will cost me more because i'm sending it to one location and then amazon is sending it to multiple and so they they are going to have to uh send it like, like do a lot more work but here's the thing is this product is very light and small shipping it to more areas won't be that expensive to be honest compared to if it was a bigger product like a lamp or you know whatever something that's a really heavy like that would cost a lot if they had to reship it out to a lot of locations versus if i sent in three boxes okay then the partial shipment plan is um a little bit better because i'm going to ship it out myself to all those various locations and so i calculated it all out and i did both options where it was a partial shipment plan and it was a ups partnered carrier with amazon and the prices and the numbers that you see right here is the total here on the bottom right that's like the total cost for me to get this product over there. Okay. Obviously if you're shipping from overseas or it's a non Amazon partnered carrier, the numbers up here will just be default, like flat, like it'll be, you know, typically like 115 or 75 or something like that. And there won't be really much difference or, or as much fluctuation. Anyways, getting back to this, this is interesting because like I said, it will depend and you'll want to figure out depending on the, the, my, my product size and how many units I'm sending in. So the next thing is, let's say I'm sending in uh, 625 units, which is five boxes, okay? So after doing all the math, of course, the Amazon optimized shipment splits, right? The $0 um, is the cheapest. And I didn't put it in here, that's my bad. But the total here on the bottom right, as you can see, is about one one twelve. So what is that? 199.50 or at least I believe that is. Okay. So it's like barely the cheapest option, but here's the thing is I'm so like, depending on your situation, you may not want to send in a bunch of units. Like let's say that this was double the amount. It would probably get like even more trickier or the difference would be even more. But so like my suggestion is if you don't want to just 
have a lot of units stored on Amazon. That's the thing is like, if it's small little trinkets, then the storage fees won't be as much versus if it's a bigger product, you could totally partial out like how much you send in all at once, maybe a few days or like a week or two spread out because that way shipment of units will come in, they'll start selling and then the turnover turnover will be faster. Only thing you gotta be careful with is that shipment window of uh, when they expect all the product to come in. And so ultimately you want to do the math between these options, but for the most part, you just want to go back and ask yourself, what's, what, what's the size here? My product is it small as a big, uh, how many units am I sending in? That'll be a huge factor. And of course, am I shipping from over overseas or locally? Because if it's from overseas and it's not an Amazon partnered carrier, meaning you're going to be clicking this button right here, uh, that's going to dictate the price point a lot because then you're going to want to take the number that your supplier gives you and then uh, do the math there. And so it, it shouldn't take you too long, maybe 10 minutes at most. Those are the differences. And hopefully that gave you a little bit more clarification 